Welcome to the SESIM Instructor Interface. The SESIM Instructor is your administration platform as a facilitator or instructor of a SESIM Business Simulation course. This walkthrough is going to help you understand how to make the most of your SESIM Simulation courses. First off, you're going to have to log in with your SESIM Instructor account that you will be receiving from a SESIM representative. Before you get started, we have a quick start guide to help you in a few steps understand the process of using the SESIM Instructor interface. First off, we'll recommend that you familiarize yourself with the materials under the Materials section and watch the overview videos. After this, you're going to have to create your first course as you will see in this walkthrough in a few minutes. Once you're done, what's left is to inform your students about the registration process to the course. You can do this easily by copy and pasting this information to your university's course webpage. Once this is done, your course is all set up and ready to be run. We have a number of great features that help you manage and analyze your course results that we will get into later. You can access this quick start guide by clicking on the green light bulb in the upper right corner at any point during your time with us. Let's get started by creating a new course under the Courses tab. All you have to do is click on Create a new course. First you will have to define a unique course code that your students will use to register to the game. After this, you will simply name your course. You can take this name, for example, from the curriculum. Once this is done, you have to choose the simulation game of your choice. The last input field can be useful for registering the grades for the students. Then click Next. On this page, you have the option to choose a previously created custom case for your course. Without selecting anything he here, the course is going to use the default case for the simulation. Under the course structure, you have to define the number of groups, teams, and the maximum number of students in your team. One group represents one universe in the game. And within one universe, you can have up to 12 teams or 12 management teams, if you will. Within one team, you can have up to eight members. Once you have selected the number of teams and number of team members, click Next, and you arrive at, at the preliminary schedule structure. Here you'll get to define the number of practice rounds. In SESIM simulation games, the number of practice rounds available is three. We typically recommend that one or two practice rounds be played before the actual rounds. The number of actual rounds in the simulation games can be up to 12. And the next step allows you to set the first practice round deadline, after which, if you have a schedule that is fairly regular, you can set the round deadline interval in days. Remember, you can change any of these later in the game. Clicking Next, you arrive at the schedule details. Here, if you already have your course schedule set up, you simply click on each individual row and select a suitable deadline. These fields are also editable later. When you click Next, you will see a confirmation page that sums up the decisions that you have made so far about your course setup. By clicking Finish, you have created the course that can now be viewed under the Courses page. Once your course is set up, you can see the details about it under the Courses page. Students will appear as soon as they start registering to your course. Should you wish to edit the language settings of the course, click on Edit Course Settings in the upper right corner under the Courses page. By default, all the languages are enabled for your course. If you would like to allow only particular languages, select them and click Save. Should you wish to edit the schedule of your course, Click on Schedule on the left-hand side. Once you're here, click on Edit in the upper right corner. This opens up the Schedule Editor that allows you to modify the round deadlines. Simply click on any of the round deadlines that you wish to modify, select another date, and click OK. Once this is done, click Save. If you want to add a custom deadline to your course, for example, a deadline for a strategy plan. Click on Custom Deadline, name your deadline, select the date of the deadline, 
click OK and add any additional description that you wish. With this tool, the Sesame Instructor allows you to create your entire course schedule within the Sesame Instructor interface if you wish. Within the Schedule Editor, you can also add extra rounds later in the game, as well as remove rounds. If you would like to test the in-game knowledge of your students, you can apply simulation-specific quizzes to your courses. Click on Quiz on the left-hand left side. Make sure that the course that you wish to add the quiz to is selected and highlighted and click on Assign. Now the quiz is available to your students in their game interfaces. Now let's get back to your courses page after students have registered to it. Here you will find the time remaining until the first deadline, the exact date of the round deadline, the current round, the final round deadline, how many students have joined the course, how many teams have saved their decisions for the current round, which simulation game are you running, and which languages are enabled for your particular course. Here you have the possibility to delete, move, and contact your students at any point during the game. Should you wish to move any student to another team, click on Manage Students, select Move, select the students you would like to move to another team, select the course, the group, and the team that you would like to move the student to. Once you click Save, you will see that your students have been moved to the other teams. If you would like to contact students in a particular team, once again you can use the features available in the Manage Students window. Simply click on Send Email and type your message that you wish to send. Deleting a student is just as easy. Simply open the Manage Students window again, click on Delete, select Student and confirm the action. Notice that this will permanently delete the student from your course. Lastly, let's have a look at the home page elements now that you have an existing course. These elements include the deadlines, the course forum subjects, the instructor forum where you can discuss with SESIM representatives about how to use the, the simulation platform or ask questions and guidance from fellow educators. The SESIM Twitter feed contains some timely updates from our side and you can also see an overview of your courses on the upper right side. This concludes the first video of the Sesame Instructor walkthrough series. Thank you for watching.